Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and I'm here with a long overdue Dollar Tree haul. So I have no idea how long it's gonna be and the day got away from me again, so I'm afraid we're gonna lose light. So I've kind of preemptively turned on all the lights in the sunroom, hoping we can get through this. And I have separated everything into category once again. So let's jump right in, try to do it as fast as possible and while we still have some light. So I'm gonna start with food. Uh, some of the stuff I did separate out into paper bags, so you might hear a little crinkling, but I'll do my best. All right, so the first thing I found, food and drink, is this quart of unsweetened almond milk, which is really, really cool because usually they have the, like, sweetened vanilla or the, I don't know, whatever. But I got these for my mom. These are a point a cup on Weight Watchers points if you're interested. Again, I told you if I ever know from my mom, then I will let you guys know. But it's 25 calories per cup, and they are good until September 2021. So I picked her up a bunch of those, and then they had the bonus size Sunny D, the 40% more. So anytime I find these, I always grab one or two for my son. Speaking of my son, just as a fun treat, I found these. These look new to me, tropical tie-dye fruit roll-ups mini rolls. And he's never had a fruit roll-up in his life, so I feel like this is gonna be really fun. <laughs> he's really cute. He says that things change his life. He gets that from me. Like, he'll eat something good and he's like, this changed my life. <laughs> so I think this is gonna be one of those things. So you get a little five pack in here, they're little tiny rolls, 40 calories per roll. I just got one box. Um, all right, then, now remember, this is from like two weeks of trips, so I don't even know what's happening. But I found these Brock's Maple Nut Goodies this particular day when I stopped off at the store. I was super hungry. So when I saw roasted peanuts in crunchy toffee made with real maple syrup, because I love anything maple, I got them. And my plan was to go home and eat them. And as you can see, I didn't anyway. But I don't know. They sounded good at the time. So I got them. Then I got another one of these big 8-ounce bags of the Black Forest Juicy Bears. I picked up... This is how long ago this is from. I picked up this Fiesta Tropical seven ounce bag of sweetened coconut flakes and this was because i may have needed more for my mom's birthday cake okay that's how long we're talking all right then i saw people hauling these and showing them in walkthroughs and i was like oh i kind of want that so it comes in 10 little tiny packs which is awesome so it doesn't get hard or dry out and it is imported by Greenbrier, and this is popping candy this is in root beer they also had lemon and fruit punch in my stores but i got the root beer because i thought it was fun and i want to see let's see what these packs look like they're just these little tiny packs so you get 10 packs in there all right then i got these because when i bought one box the first time my husband ate the entire thing in one sitting and he's like these are my favorite and i was like all the times you travel to turkey and he's like well you know not these particularly but these i'm like okay so i got another box there's like nine cookies in there or something nine yeah all right then i saw these imperial nuts chocolate coated cashews so that sounded good that's a three ounce bag i was thinking maybe for my stepfather's christmas stocking picked up one more of these i believe this was for thanksgiving to see if i needed another one but i did not so this is act these were actually really nice i know this is probably going to be a controversial topic but i definitely thought these were better than the bruce's yams because these pieces were really nice and big and whole and solid so i recommend these if you see them and you're looking for sweet potatoes i think these are better than the bruce's i find the bruce's like very cut up and, and mushy and I don't they don't like hold make any sense so I I think those are really good <clears throat> then this was new and I honestly don't know why I got it but I got it 
to have because uh, just because it was new and it's good until 2023 so amazing shelf life on this this is hormel smoked ham it's smoke flavoring and ground ham added and water added it says four and a half ounce can so i picked up a few cans of these i don't know what for ham salad i've never made a ham salad in my life <laughs> But whatever, just to have, I'm sure I'll find something to throw that into. Pasta, maybe like a, like a carbonara sauce, something. I don't know. It'll come in handy. Maybe omelets, frittata. It'll go, it'll go to use. And then again, another hungry shopping day, which seemed good at the time. And then I never eat them. This 4D gummy fruits apples pineapples strawberries and grapes it's a four ounce bag it looked super cute and appealing and i got it and didn't need it another thing that i couldn't even believe for a dollar i got two of them they're good until may 20th of 2021 it's this huge 10 ounce bag of brock's milk chocolate peanut clusters so this tis the season and i thought this would be an amazing addition to any gift basket type things that i'm making for people amazing for a dollar then i saw somebody haul this or show this in a walkthrough i think it might have been melissa and michelle over at m&m's hauls please go check them out tell them theone sent you these little 3.2 ounce cups of marzetti caramel dip so once i saw them being hauled or shown i was like oh my goodness i hope we get that and then they were popping up at all of my stores so i bought a few of those i thought that would be really delicious just as shown with some granny smith apple slices so i got those i picked up another bag of the eight ounce now and later shell shock these are just way too good, and I should probably just stay away from them for the rest of my life, but I got them. And then they had my all-time favorite movie theater candy of all time, and I'm hoping to have another movie date night with my husband anytime soon. And uh, that's why I got these. Goldenberg's Peanut Juice Individually Wrapped 3-ounce bag. I love them so much. So I was happy to see those again. Then I picked up a, this, this sloth chupa chup. I think it's a chupa chup, is it? Yes, it's a watermelon chupa chup in this sloth little holder. And I got this for Macy because I will, I'm putting together a package for Michelle and Melissa and Macy. So I got that. And then they had this. 9.6 ounce box of the frankenberry monster marshmallow cereal and this is good until july 25th it's a big dooley driving down my street uh march 20 what what no july 25th 2021 so i just got two boxes of those and that is it for the food and drink so let me move on to christmas so christmas uh, you know what? I'll save this for last and then I can transition into this little category. So I've got this e.l.f. wrapping paper. My husband has been obsessed with e.l.f. this year, the movie, and he wants to watch it with my son so badly. Um, and then it was like $3.99 on Prime. So I was like, I ordered it. <laughs> I ordered the DVD to own. And my husband was like, He's like, we were, it was through text. I was out shopping. That's why I ended up getting the paper because he got me in the elf mood. But he's like, he's like, you're so old school. I love it. The best school. I'm like, yeah, why am I going to pay? I paid like $4.50 for the DVD. Why am I going to pay $3.99 to watch it one time when I can own it for $4.50 and watch it whenever I want? That's a no brainer. Anyway, so that elf wrapping paper. Okay. Then I was super happy to finally find these. I saw these in a walkthrough by Rebecca Stu and the crew. So they are these three packs of these little plasticky bags. They're like the shopping totes almost. I love them. How amazing for little gift bags. 
So you get three of them in there, and they got adorable sides and a pretty nice size bottom. So I just thought those were gorgeous gift bags. So I got three packs. You get the Santa, the Snowman, and I think this one is my favorite. Just the light blue with the snowflakes. Same on the side. I love it. So I got those. Then I got these. I got two packs of these, two packs of boxes. I may already have these, but it doesn't matter because I use up boxes. So it comes with this one and it comes with this one. I feel like I might already have it, but again, it doesn't matter because between myself and my mom for Christmas, everybody always needs boxes. All right, then I picked up this 50 pack of Christmassy baking cups. That's just like red and green snowflakes there on the side. Sorry for the glare. For the hot cocoa bombs if my molds ever come and I feel like they're not gonna come in time. But I'm staying hopeful and buying things for the hot cocoa bombs. Whatever. Then I saw these. I thought these were pretty awesome as well. I've seen these for like Easter and things. But they had these little three piece, they call them treat sacks. They're little burlap drawstring bags. So this one says merry and bright, just like that. They are six inches by four inches. And this one has the tree they had like two more and i forgot to take footage of it i was just kind of so shocked that i found them i just grabbed these two and forgot to film all right and then i got i was thinking of making another kind of display so i showed these in a walkthrough there was one more variety that i didn't get but i got one santa one and two of the candy cane and candy ones and I was just thinking of kind of lining that up in some way on one of those rectangular chargers as well. With some embellishment and filler in the bottom. And then the other two things I got. So I got this Merry Christmas ribbon and I got this DIY ornament. The reason why I got this is because I saw something super, super cute on Facebook. It was for the year 2018, which made more sense because the saying rhymed with 18, but now I'll have to make up one that rhymes for 2020 and write it on here or put a tag. But it said something to the effect, or I'll like put the tag inside. It said something to the effect of like this ornament that you see hanging on the tree is not just an ornament. Pull out the ribbon inside to see like how tall or like how little I was or something to that effect. I will look it up again for myself and re rewrite something for 2020. But what you do is you take the ribbon and the exact height of your child or each child and you just cut it to their height, put it in here with that little saying and it, sa it says something to the effect of like that way you can open it up and check the ribbon whenever to see the size of the child in that year and I love that so I got these two just to do that with and we're losing light super quickly okay um all right so now this is going to be my transition piece so I ended up getting this Avengers uh it's Christmas wrapping paper because there's like ornaments in there you see that but so let me tell you why and let me tell you the transition. So my son is going to his little best friend's birthday uh, next weekend. And I asked his mom, um, it's just them. It's really cool. It's only going to be two kids. She's doing time slots. So my son is going to hang out. Well, you know, we are going from 12 to 2. And then the neighbor boy is going to hang out with him from 2 to 4. And that's it. That's his birthday. So... It's nice and safe and really cool but I asked her you know what he likes and she said he likes cars and trucks and he likes the Hulk she said he's super into the Hulk lately so I was like all right so I did purchase an extra Hot Wheels track set to save for a birthday party and I didn't think it would happen this fast and I didn't think it would specifically be a child that like says they like cars and trucks but I'm gonna give him I have the track the loop builder two launchers so I'm giving him that 
Um, I'm gonna wrap some of it in this wrapping paper. That's why it's the transition item. And now I'm gonna move into a category that's specifically just for that little boy for his birthday. So I was able to find him this card. It has the Hulk. I couldn't find anything with like just the Hulk on it. And I like only shop at Dollar Tree for the most part. So um, I thought this was good enough. This was a dollar card. It wasn't the two for a dollar cards. All right, so that. And then I got, I was able to find these. I got two of these gift bags. The Hulk is pretty pretty featured there so I was happy with that so I got two of the same of those oopsie sorry I hit you um and then I got now the tr the car pickings is slim because of the holidays um but I did grab him these three cars these hot wheels and unfortunately I was trying to look for the ones that say best for track this was the only one I could find so, but I'm sure he probably has other ones, but I'm just going to include these with the track for him. And then I got him this Avengers coloring and activity book. The Hulk is on front and back and it's a pretty nice size. And then I found him these superhero playing cards, jumbo playing cards. And... I found him this little plate. It's got the Hulk on it. I got so lucky. It was literally the only plate of this nature in the entire store. So, because I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. Like for my son, I was thinking hot dogs or nuggets and like ketchup. Nope, not a single other one in the entire store. And the one that they had just so happened to be this one. So that was meant to be. I was excited about that. And then... I kind of feel bad because I have a December birthday also and I know how it gets like mushed with Christmas, but I think he'll like it because he's still really little. I got him this Santa hat. It's got the Hulk right there. And then I also got him the matching stocking. So I'm just going to add those to his present. And then I found, there might be, no, yeah, I think that was it, yeah. Um, and then I found, these were actually new to me, these one sheet set of Tonka stickers, and they are really, really cool. You can't really see them, but they're like almost clear in the middle in between, if that makes any sense, and they're just really cool. So I got them that, and then they had these Tonka 154 full sheets of stickers. So I got that. All right, so that's his Christmas present, and that's the end of that category. Yes, okay. Now let me move on to some stationary stuff because it's right here. So I picked up a couple of the tool bench packing tape because tis the season, mailing out a ton of stuff. Then I found this, which was new, and uh, I love it, and uh, I don't need it, so I'm probably going to put it in the coffee giveaway whenever that happens, but I have a bin, and it's the coffee giveaway, only the coffee giveaway, um, so they're all ready, as well as the cat and dog giveaway and the coveted items giveaway at the end of the year, so yes, <laughs> plenty coming up. So isn't that so cool though? It's got this list. It says all you need is love and coffee. It says coffee's always a good idea. It's this nice hard. It even comes with the pen, the little pen holder, and these two little pads. So cool. So I got that. And then I got two of these coffee pen sets. One for me. One for the coffee giveaway. And that's a really cute, if you can find these two together, that's such a cute gift in and of itself. Um, then I got, I finally found the like calligraphy pens or, or like the fountain pen. The glass pen, right? That's what they call it or no? Am I making that up? Yes, glass pen and ink. I got the green, the pink, and the blue. I am going to include these, if you remember, like from the summer, I was putting together 
uh, for one of my aunts for Christmas. I'm going to mail her. She's got like a pen obsession. And so I'm putting together like really good pens and stuff for her and a journal, like just fun stuff. But I think she'll get a kick out of these. So I grabbed those for her. I picked myself up one of these or I might send it to my aunt, my, my other aunt. Um, this pen stylus highlighter and post-it dispenser. I don't know, but this is the coolest thing ever. All of that in there. Amazing. And then I got this multicolor mini mouse pen to send to a friend. And then I got two of these Jurassic World T-Rex multicolor pens. One is for my son's stocking and one is for another friend that I'm mailing a package to as well. All right, that's it for stationery. Where should we move on to next? Um, all right, let's do apparel and accessories. I picked up two pairs of the slippers in black and pink, and they also had baby blue. I picked these up for my mom just a little. I might add it to like some pedicure stuff, but these are so cute. They're so much cuter than years past. So just for around the house. Then I found these by On The Verge. It's this eight piece bobby pin set. And I ended up getting two of them. One for me, one for my mom for her stocking. I think she'll really like that. Maybe not all the colors. I can't see her pulling the pink. She wouldn't like that. But the rest I think she'll do. And my mom always wears like her sides like twisted. Like, does that make any sense? Anyway, um, so yeah, one for me, one for my mom. This was a wish list item and I was happy to find it. So these are the kids rain ponchos. So they had, I got three different designs. I got this one that has, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's frogs. It's clear with frogs. And then they have this bluish one with rubber duckies. And don't mind my nails. That's on the schedule for tonight to paint them. And then this one is blue with green whales. They had a fourth one that was clear with like a purple chevron of sorts. It was really cool, but it was more feminine. Then I got these women's size five to nine shoe liners. I picked the one with the giraffe. They had some other animals, but this will be going to a friend as well. Another wish list item were the kids Jurassic World masks. So I got, there was um, Trolls. I showed it in a walkthrough. Trolls, Jurassic World, and Minions. And they had two designs of each. So I got him the two Jurassic World. It's this red one. See, it's so, I don't know if you can see that, but it's both of those. So I got him both of those, my son. And then speaking of masks, I thought these were adorable. So I'm putting one of these in my mom's stocking. These face masks with all the doggies. And I got a second one for what I was just mention mentioning, the dog giveaway. Just going to throw that in there as well. So cute. All right. And if you saw it in a walkthrough, I was looking for this specific one. And I did find it. So this is the black um, velvet with the bow. The other pack was without a bow and then it came with elastics and it was burgundy, blue, dark blue and black. Um, so I just got this for my mom's stocking as well. The one with the bow. And then I got two of these, one for me, one for a friend. This is a black elastic with white pearls all over it. Really, really, really pretty. I love that. I kind of need that right now. Okay. And then what? I never thought this was going to happen. This is crazy talk. So I found the Rosanna Ponzino half aprons with the digital hearts on there, the pixelated hearts to match the mold. Exactly. So, um, I'm sending one to a friend. I am going to put this in the Valentine's day giveaway. I'm going to keep one for myself. And then I have like an extra, so we shall see. But yeah, how cool is that for a dollar? Wilton, amazing. 
All right, that's the end of accessories and apparel. So let me move on to housewares, which is huge. It's a huge category and I will be reaching behind me. I apologize. Um, so remember if you are new, uh, my house stuff is cleaning, home decor, electronics, uh, you know, it could be anything kitchen. So that's why it's always so big. All right. So, uh, this I just threw in there this time cause it's the only electronics item I have. I found this led two in one flashlight, super bright, a hundred lumens. And then it has a second led light down there. So I thought that was cool. Let's see. It's got that. It's a good size too. I mean, it feels really light, but it's still, I mean, I don't know. Pretty cool. And uh, three AA batteries. It takes not included. Then I found another one of the giant Batman mugs. So Lisa from Lisa and Will's Hall is, Halls, if you're watching, I did pick this up for Will. So if you did not find it yet, I will definitely mail that for Will and uh, with a, another thing or two. Um, don't know when it'll be, but I'll send it to Will. <laughs> And then this I threw in there too because it was the only party item and I am using it as home decor. So it is this felt banner with the dinosaurs. It's got six dinosaurs on there. It is so cute. I'm going to hang it in my son's room as a decoration and he will love it. So, oh my gosh, so cute. This was new and it was like making my car smell amazing for like a week. It's and just now when I went to get them, I could still smell it. So you do only get 18 sheets, which is less than a lot of the other ones, but it is the Suavitel Complete. This one is in Waterfall Mist. Oh my word. I can't even tell you guys how good this smells. I wish I had smell-o-vision. See, I poof it for you. Poof, poof. It's so amazing. So I got one of those. I picked up three of the eight count popcorn bags by essentials for my big popcorn machine in the movie room downstairs i found this this is by caterers corner which they usually do all the like party you know like the fancier party stuff at dollar tree but this is a two pack of three compartment meal prep containers with lids so i just picked up one pack you get two containers two lids and it's three sectioned. And I thought that was really, really cool. Really nice. Okay. Then I picked up one of these ceramic soap pumps and one of these ceramic uh, toothbrush holders. I picked the gray on the bottom because it matches like everything. And I just really love that for a dollar each. That's nuts. So to switch out some of the other ones, just change it up. All right, then the other thing, I got three of these. Uh, I saw Lee over at Lee's home haul these for the first time ever. Um, and they are these square glass jars. These are glass, but the lid is plastic. It's got a plastic lid. Now, I think this is brilliant because anytime I have in my bathroom bath salts, etc., in glass jars with a metal lid because of the moisture and everything they start to like pit and rust i mean it gives it a nice like rustic farmhousey look but if you want it to look nice and you're not going for that weathered look on the lid of your bath salts the plastic is brilliant and perfect so i got three of those as a as a set Okay, then I got these two candles for decoration. I know there was a recoil on a lot of Dollar Tree candles. Check that out if you burn Dollar Tree candles. I actually really do not. I use them for decoration. I buy ones that I think are pretty for the most part, and I just never like them. That's why I like to have the papers in them and stuff. But I got these, and they have home raised in there. I love them. I got the olive green one, which happens to be rosemary and thyme, and the blue one happens to be lavender breeze. So just for decoration or three-tiered trays, I love them, love them. They had another one, like a coral, I think. 
Then I picked up some uh, safety stuff to send to my aunt, Michelle, the other thrifty diva in Texas. She is back teaching and she has even more students now than she did before she caught COVID. Okay. So I got her these Clorox wipes, 15 count of the lemon, right? Something, yeah, crisp lemon. I'll be mailing those to her. Then they also had this 25% more good and clean disinfectant wipes. So you get 30 in here. So I'll be sending that to her as well. And I will also be sending her. So these were up by the registers and I had the guy laughing so hard. So <laughs> first I saw them and I'm like, that looks weird, right? And then I'm like, wait a second. And I lifted it up and I'm like, because I, I, don't, I don't need the big ones. I have, thank goodness, I have enough for the big ones. But I was like, I was like, why? What happened to these? And then I, I can't even explain it. Like you had to be there. And I'm like, wait, I'm like these are adorable. I'm like, they look like somebody put them in the dryer. And he was hysterically laughing. I'm like, for real though, they're so tiny, they shrunk. So these are just two ounce little disinfectant cans and they had both the country scent and the linen linen scent. So I put them back, like they were just, they were up by the register. So I picked it up, looked at it, made a comment and put them back. But then I'm like, as he's ringing me up, I'm like thinking about it. And I was like, I remember before COVID buying the little tube spray of Lysol brand, Lysol, that little tiny thing was like $3 or more for like travel. So that's what made me think. And I'm like, okay, these are bigger than that. You're not going to like stick this in your makeup bag, but but still, for travel, for going places, for definitely. So I picked those up. I'm going to send two to my Aunt Michelle, and I think I got one or two for me. Um, then I saw this. They had a whole bunch. They had another one with vinegar, like an apple one with vinegar. But then they had this, Antibacterial Fabuloso. Multi-purpose cleaner in sparkling citrus. It is 16.9 fluid ounces. And Fabuloso is bomb. So I just got one of those to give a try. Okay. Then I found a couple of, to me, freak items. Because I didn't see any more of them. They weren't in their place. I don't know if they're new or old or what. I'm assuming old on one of them, but we'll see. But look, so I found this aromatherapy incense like we've been finding the other incense but this is only 10 incense sticks i think the other ones are like 40 or like at least 20 20 or 40. this one is vitality eucalyptus and thyme but it comes with this beautiful wood incense holder too so what a cute addition to a gift that is so i picked one of those up because that's all i found and then this sign, oh my God, I talked to myself in the store. I said, I don't know what you are or where you came from, but you're coming home with me. So this sign, I saw that, karma. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, karma misses nobody. I love this. So I had to pick that up and it came home with me as promised. Then... These were a wish list item as well. I showed these in a walkthrough so you can see how long I've been driving this stuff around. Sorry for the crinkle. These hanging, these LED hanging lanterns. So this is silver. It also comes in gold and you can see the light in there. So I did get six of these. Because if you've seen my kitchen, that huge pot rack, I like when it's not a holiday, I thought it would be really pretty to hang the six around the pot rack. So that's what I got those for. Okay. Then these new signs that I also showed in a walkthrough. I got this laundry sign for my laundry room. It is crooked as heck, and this was the best one they had. So I will probably try to pry this off and re-glue it straight if possible. I don't know. I don't know. Nobody's really going to see it but me, but whatever. As well as this wash, dry, fold, repeat sign with the little clothes pins. I love that. So that's all for the laundry room downstairs. This one too. Laundry room. So it has it like a definition with the pronunciation and the um, noun and all that. A mystical place where socks vanish and dirty underwear materializes out of thin air. 
I love that. And this laundry room for same day service, do it yourself. So I got all those from my laundry room. And then, okay, so I got this, I don't know why, just because I loved it. So I got this little white dog with the kickstand that says love. Oh, I know why I got it. Because eventually, on my list of a thousand DIYs to do in my lifetime, I want to do a paw print wreath. And I thought this would be a very cute addition to the paw print wreath. So, yes. Sometime next year, I'm sure. So, I think the rest of the stuff in here, so um, a, a large portion of my law business, sorry, the light's getting all crazy now, um, currently, and I like it that way, is, uh, is real estate law, right? So I do closings and buyer or seller. So when it's a buyer, I was like, oh, I want to give them like a little something at the closing. Like, that'll be cute. So first thing I did was pick up a few of these cards that they had. Home sweet home. Home sweet home, furnish it with friendship, decorate it with laughter, warm it with love. And it looks like wood around the trim. So I did get a bunch of those. And then I got uh, a whole bunch of frames to frame that. You know, and then you just wrap it up nice. It's cute. It's a cute addition to closing with their key. Like, I think it's cute. So I got those, that, I got the white frames. And then I also got that that looks like galvanized metal. I like the white better, but whatever. So I got that. And then I got for the same purpose, a bunch of these, these little welcome ones. I thought that would be really cute too, if you wrap it nicely. And I got two of these. These were the straightest ones I could find. These welcome ones with the palm leaves and one of these that says welcome to our home. So obviously it has to be more than one person. Okay. So that's that. That is the end of home stuff. Now let me move on to <sighs> health and beauty. Okay. So these were a wish list item, these gua sha massagers. So I did get a couple of these, one for myself, one for my mom's stocking. Um, I think I even got a third to add to any like beauty gift baskets that I do. Then I also found these. I showed them in a walkthrough, the Freeman mask brush, which I thought was awesome. It says perfect for peel off masks. So I did get a few of those as well. Found my favorite bar soap, so I had to grab one. The Coast Pacific Force. Oh, I love it. Uh, <clears throat> I got a few of the, sorry for the crinkling, the Sassy and Chic Charcoal Infused Beauty Blenders. They're very firm. Um, but I got one for me. I love black beauty blenders. So one for me, one for, again, makeup gift baskets or anything. Probably one for my mom's stocking. Then I found these, these L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Intense Repair Hair Sheet Mask, five minute hair spa. So I got one for me, one for my mom's stocking, and probably one for a friend. I got these for my son, these Ryan's World Band-Aids. You gotta switch up the dinosaurs every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully you'll like that. And then it took me forever to find these. So I got one of these for my friend who was looking for the purple one. The purple is strawberry scented. And then I got a blue one because I think my son will think it's adorable too. And the blue one is apple scented. So yes. And then they had two more, <clears throat> pink and green. And I, I don't remember the sense of those. I'm sorry. All right. Then I got one of each of these because I thought these were awesome. These EAD Excess 
fragrance body mist four fluid ounces and they're shaped like little men's torsos they even have six packs one is compare to <coughs> wait this is excess and this says ead one strange okay anyway um this one is uh, compared to Dracar, and this one is compared to Fahrenheit. Now, I did not smell them, but let me tell you, when I was in high school or my early 20s, Fahrenheit was like, whoo, I loved Fahrenheit. I could, like, smell it in a store. Like, if somebody was wearing it, I was like, where's it coming from? So I have high, I kind of have, the bar is high. Okay, all right, I see it. I see what you did there. Not a total letdown. But anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. We'll see. Somebody stocking or addition to the gift. Teenage boy something. I don't know. Okay, and then I got my son this little popping buddies toothbrush. Brush buddies. They're annoying. He had a tiger one once and the head. Like, it's annoying to get back down. And he thinks it's a game. But they're really cute and it. he likes brushing his teeth with them. So... Okay, then I found these. These are by Diamond Cosmetics. These little manicure sets. They only had one design. It's a three-piece implement tube. Comes with tweezers, a little emery board, and the nail clippers. So I got oh, one for me to replace the one in my car, and then one for my mom's stocking. Oh, looks like that one's been opened. Yes, it has. All right, well, the emery board is wrapped, so. And so are the tweezers. So we're fine. Okay. Oh, and then they had the Lever 2000 two pack bar soap. So that's really good when you find that for a dollar. So I just grabbed one of those as well. And then, I know they're tiny, but they'll be fine. These little four packs of Angel of Mine washcloths for my son. Look at that. The little black stars, the little black chevron, this charcoal gray one, and a white one. So, can never have too many washcloths. And then I picked myself up these nails, you know I had to, and two for sizing, always. And then I got this for myself too, this half up bun maker and i showed it in the walkthrough they had the full length one too for the full bun and they had blonde and this dark one i don't know i'll give it a try okay then i got two more of the melting sugar freeman face masks it says three to four uses look at those gummy bears can you stand it this is rose gummy bear that is amazing and it's clear in there i love that so they had lemon meringue and matcha ice cream were the three that i've seen in this i picked up i showed this in the last walkthrough just one of these i wasn't going to get it but then i'm like wait a second miss spa red wine purifying sheet mask with grapes on it. So this just screamed out to me, if you're getting somebody a nice bottle of red, you know, make it like a girly girl's night basket or something. You know what I'm saying? So I got this to save for when somebody's getting a red. <laughs> I think it's super cute. <clears throat> I got this Assured Athletic Tape. It's black. I thought that would be nice to just add to maybe some of the first aid stuff. They had this Desange Purifying Clay Balancing System Pre-Shampoo Mask. So I got two of those, one for me, one for my mama. Actually, that's, yeah, two. Um, then they had this. This Desange Nutrition Elixir, 6.7 fluid ounces. This is the conditioner for dry hair. Now, the last Desange I got smelled like pumpkin spice, and it was amazing. This does not smell like pumpkin spice, but it's still amazing. So I was happy to find that. It's the conditioner. I actually prefer that, like, 
over finding the shampoo, so I'm happy about it. Then I grabbed a bunch of the Wet n Wild stuff, which I never thought I would find. So check this cool stuff out. I got a bunch, one for me, one for my mom, one for my Aunt Michelle, and one for a friend. Okay. This Wet n Wild Intuitive Blend, if you can see that, shade matching, shade adjusting foundation. It's one ounce. Shade adjusting foundation and primer. I'm sorry. Look how cool that is. So got those. <coughs> And then I got a couple of the Coverall Pressed Powder by Wet n Wild. And this is in the medium, but it still looks kind of light. And then this one, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. And it's in warm light. This is the only one that they had. And then I got a couple of these for me and my mom, Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. I got like light, I got fair light, and I got medium. I think I got one of each of those. Oh, light medium. So I got light, fair light, and light medium. And they're really like, it's just a, a tinge off but I don't know. It's hard, you know, when you're not trying it on. So I got enough to blend or whatever. All right. I think that's it. That's it for health and beauty. And I have just a couple of craft items in the craft category. So one thing I found, which I also couldn't believe I found, was this two-tone effect reversible sequin fabric. 11 and a half inches by 13 inches by the Horizon Group USA. So that is absolutely amazing. And you can see it there. Reversible, reversible big sequence sheets. So I got that. And then I found these also by Horizon Group USA. This assorted wood value pack. Uh, I thought it had a count. It does. It goes through everything. Oh my lord. Ten craft sticks. Five jumbo craft sticks. Four large wooden clothespins. Fifteen wood clothespins. One wood slat. One wood star. One wood airplane. One wood cupcake. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. But anyway, I'm not going through all that. <laughs> I'm just not. So yeah, I was shocked to find that. So yeah, okay, cool. That is the craft category. Moving on. Let me do this one. This requires a lot of turning. Um, all right, so this is gonna be books and movies. So I got these, spot the difference, these Nickelodeon ones. The, this was a wish list as well. I also got Dora, but my son got it already. So, um, but this is Bubble Guppies and SpongeBob really cool i'm glad that they finally came up with one like a little easier and then i got a whole bunch of movies i got cats i got this eight movie marathon for kids volume two it has the true story of puss in boots life's a jungle primates of the seven seas amazon jack aqua tales Dragon Guardians, Ivan the Incredible, and Dragon Hunters. So I guess it's two discs. They're both 80 minutes each. Then I got Help. I've Shrunk the Family. I think I got last time I bought movies, I got I Shrunk My Parents. So now they shrunk the family. And I already own Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, so I have a whole thing going on. I picked up War Dogs on Blu-ray, because this is actually something I had wanted to see in the movies, and we never did. So, War Dogs, true story. Uh, okay. There might be more uh, movies coming. I made a stack. Uh, okay. I got this, not for my son, for a package I'm making somebody. It's Let's Draw Dinosaurs. 
so it like shows you how to draw dinosaurs. I'm putting that in a package I am making someone who happens to like dinosaurs. All right, then I got more educational books. I got First Words. This is for kindergarten. This is another First Words kindergarten. This Numbers Pre-K and K Learning Sticker Book. And this Letters Pre-K K Learning Sticker Book it has 80 stickers in it. I found this. I don't know how much it retailed for because they put a sticker right over it. But it's like this weird, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it's really cool. It's, it's got amazing recipes in it. It is Threads Selects Great Cupcakes Easy to Bake Sweet Treats from the editors of Fine Cooking. So it's like, it's really good. I mean, it's concise and it's got pretty good stuff in its short few pages choosing chocolate for baking so it's got other stuff in there too but mocha chip cupcakes with chocolate sour cream frosting oh yeah maple and mocha and almond and marzipan are like my that's like my trifecta of favorite things all right then i picked up this book I think I'm going to send this to my uncle for Christmas. This retailed for $29.99 US. Fins. Harley Earl, The Rise of General Motors, and The Glory Days of Detroit. So I thought he might think that's interesting. Then I picked up this. The Power of Sprinkles by Am Amira Kassem. Price is covered up, couldn't tell you, but this is an awesome, awesome book. Even for gifting or whatever, I don't know. I know I just had to grab it. Then I picked up this. I showed this in a walkthrough too. Huge hardcover book, retail for $28 US. Kennedy and King, The President, The Pastor, and The Battle Over Civil Rights. I'll probably give this to my mom. And then I got two of these because I'm giving one to my parents. Italian Cooking School Desserts, The Silver Spoon Kitchen. And the price is covered up. So, yeah, but that, that looked really good too. Oh, yeah. And... I got there's there's more movies <laughs> there's more movies but then I got two of these they had two so I got two one for me one for my mom I think she'll like it just looking at it for fun check this out price is covered up the gentle art of domesticity stitching baking nature art and the comforts of home I just thought that was really awesome Nice little coffee table book. I don't know. But one for me, one for my mama. And uh, movies again. Okay, this one I also got for Macy. <coughs> so, Melissa, Michelle, if you're watching and you see it, try not to get it for Macy. <laughs> this is the interactive DVD game. Great family adventure with your DVD remote. This is the Hogwarts Challenge, Harry Potter. So I don't know, but it's a game. It's an interactive DVD game. Then I found this, the Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl Champions Collector's Edition for my aunt and uncle and cousins and that whole Steelers family that lives right around the corner from me. Um, then I got Inspector Gadget Saves Christmas for my son. And it's only 30 minutes because I didn't check runtime. Then I got A Golden Christmas on Blu-ray, A Tale of Puppy Love. Getting him into the spirit. It's fun because it's like the first year he's like really like cognizant of 
everything and like we're talking about Santa and stuff like so it's fun I'm having a good time and then I found the hangover in a metal tin I'm pretty sure I own the hangover already probably but I don't own it in a metal tin so I'll share my other one and this is blu-ray anyway so it's better um yeah so I thought that was really really cool and it's got a whole bunch of special features on here but it's in a metal tin for a dollar I can't believe it. All right, so that was it. That was books and movies. And then what is the last? Okay, the last category for this haul, guys. Holy longness. All right. I grabbed this robot arm grabber. And if you saw in the haul, in the walkthrough, I said I'm going to get one of these because apparently I hate myself. And somebody in the comments asked me, why do you say you hate yourself? I'm like, because my son is going to grab everything and everybody, butts included. I see it now. He's going to have a blast. So, whatever. Okay. Our butts. Nobody else comes in this house, so we're fine. Uh, I got him this. He's going to love this, too. Although he ends up combining it with dinosaurs. And then it's just crazy. But this is this dog and cat thing. This little pet house. It says dog and cat. I can't really make out really what they are. I got him this Jurassic Uzi Goo surprise mix. It's got everything. It's got confetti. It's got little styrofoam balls. So I got that for his stocking. I also got him this little bucket of uh, kinetic sand. It's a nice big... 10 and a half ounce, a little over 10 and a half ounce bucket of kinetic sand for a dollar. Then I got these two, not for my son, for the same friend package that I'm making, but for somebody who likes dinosaurs. These 3D wood shop wooden puzzles. So I got the Triceratops and I got the T-Rex. And then I showed this in a walkthrough too, this travel tic-tac-toe. I thought this was absolutely awesome. So these flip between X's and O's and they are attached like with a rod. So you're not going to lose the pieces. Really, really cool. Really cool. And I love how they made it round too. It's just a little different. Uh, then I got the movie puzzles, the blockbuster movie puzzles. Not all of them. But I do like to keep things like just in the box like this in the movie room downstairs because it's pretty awesome. Uh, okay. So I got Office Space, which is like one of my favorite movies. I could watch it a million times. I got Flashdance because that brings back memories of my childhood. I got Back to the Future, because that also brings back memories of my childhood, and that's a classic. You just have to have it. And Titanic, which I am not ashamed to admit when it came out, I saw it three times in the movie theater. Three. And I was like, that's ten hours of my life that I will literally never get back. But I loved it. Okay. So, and I was obsessed with Leo back then, too. So the only one I did not get was uh, Footloose, which I was never really a fan of. It wasn't my thing. So that's the other one they had that I didn't get. And then also for the movie room, I saw Lisa from Lisa. Well, I, Lisa and Will actually did a giveaway on one of these too in their haul. But they hauled this, this uh, Matchbox Mr. Bean car. And I couldn't believe I actually found it. So this is going to go up in my in my movie room too because I do have some like memorabilia type stuff on the wall just things from movies or shows or famous cartoons so that'll go up in the package right there on the display wall i got this for my son too he's gonna love that they had like four different types of dogs and you got a bowl and a bone and i got these holographic scratch offs they had the neon too i got him the ones that they had last year but i thought this was super cool I might even play with these. So I got him that. For his stocking, I got this for a package that I already sealed up, Gina. Uh, <laughs> but thank goodness I'm late on it, so I'll try to open it up and put it in there. It's the little rocket ship lights. So I made a space-themed package that I was mailing out, and I think this would be good. So 
I'm gonna try to open up that package, put that back in there. And then I found this. I got two of these. I think one of these is going in the package as well, Gina, if you haven't found it already. And uh, maybe also to Will, if Will from Will and Lisa Swalls didn't find this, Lisa and Will Swalls. This is this crazy hard mirror, I don't even know, but it's Kylo Ren's command shuttle. No glue or solder needed. From steel sheets to museum quality 3D models and a 360 degree view. So it's some crazy metal 3D puzzle thing or something with no glue or solder required to make Kylo Ren's command shuttle out of metal. What? Okay. So I got those. And then I already mailed out this package, but I found another Disney thing. So now I'll keep this for something, the coveted items giveaway, or put it in another friend's package. These metal die cast Disney figures. And the very last thing in this ginormous haul, I, I might have to start doing car hauls again every once in a while so that it doesn't build up like this. Um, I showed these in the walkthrough. I got the glitter rubber duckies because I couldn't help it. Yes. So I got silver, I mean gold for my son, for his bath, and then I got these two for me <laughs> when I have all my time to take my long, luxurious bubble baths. But when I do, I want these floating around because I can't say I ever have experienced this, and I look forward to it. Pink and purple, and they had blue and green as well. All right, so that is it. I'm sorry, guys. And I do have tons of blessings by mail. I do have a bunch of emails for Dear Theoni, so I have to do that as well. Um, I have so much, but I will get to it as much as I can. And there's a couple more of Christmas DIYs that I've been really wanting to make. One is left over from last year, because life is life. But until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for hanging out with me forever just now. And hopefully uh, it won't be so long till I can film another haul and it won't be an hour long. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. I'll see you all very, very soon.